There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. It's your girl, A. So today's video is an affordable one, y'all. Y'all know I'll be messing with Sam's Beauty. Sam's Beauty Girl. Get your synthetic lace front wigs there. And they even got human hair. So, girl, today's video is a synthetic lace front by the brand named Studio Cut. So this is a deep part lace front wig. It's got, like, water waves, wavy. Y'all know how I like wavy hair. And the item is called DPL007. The color that I have is OT27. So she is a bit long, honey. And those who love a long, wavy, like, hair, this might be the unit for you. As you guys see, this is a middle part unit. But you can always move it to the side, left or right, or you can leave it in the middle. But y'all know I got a long head, girl, so, you know, I got to kind of, like, put it to the side. Now, I'm just doing my old little trick here where I pull out some of my edges because... Synthetic lace front wigs, you got to make them look as natural as possible. And I really didn't want to hairspray the unit down. I really don't like to do that with synthetic wigs. I just try to make them look natural. Now, you know my frontal area is a little thin, like my hairline is a little bit thinner. So what I'm just trying to do now, girl, is situate her. And I'm going to be using some of my uh, hair filler fibers as well. I haven't used that in like so long. I try not to use it as much, but I'm going to be using it for this particular video. And all I'm doing is just making sure that I have enough hair out and I'm going to take some of my Aussie instant freeze that you see right here and I'm going to spray it onto my hair my natural hair as well as a little bit on the wig here I'm going to allow it to get tacky and then I'm going to do this a second time and then I'll be putting the hair filler fibers on now if you have thinner edges or you know a balding spot the hair filler fibers is great it kind of mimics you know actual hair but there are tricks to putting it on, girl, okay? You definitely need it to stick, to adhere to your own natural hair. So you may want to do a little hairspray and allow it to get tacky and a little bit more. And that's what you see me doing here. I'm just putting a little hairspray even on the root of my hair because I do want the fibers to, you know, stick to my own natural hair. Now, this is just a trick that I do. You can do whatever pleases you, girl. But, yes, check out Sam's Beauty because they have loads of wigs. So if this one isn't for you, I'm pretty sure you can find something that is more suitable for your needs. But I'm definitely going to be, you know, hooking this wig up at the very end. So stay tuned for that. Now, just to put down my own little sideburn hairs and my own natural sideburn hairs, I am using the Mark Anthony Strictly Curl Styling Foam. Now, remember how I said this makes your hair feel sticky and a, a little bit sticky and you, I wouldn't advise using it on the entire wig or your natural hair? It does work in your natural hair a lot better than on a wig. Girl, I've been using this every day in my own natural short curly hair. Now, this is the part right here that I was referring to as far as the hair filler fibers. This brand is called Boldify, but you can get many different brands. I've been using this stuff for years, but I haven't used it in a while. I started off with the Topic brand. A lot of brands are very similar to one another, so find what's suitable for you. It looks like dirt, but it's actually hair filler fibers. And just to make that part pop a lot more, I'm just going to put in a little bit of my concealer in the part. So that way you can see it because, girl, I want you to see the part. I don't want it to pretend to be there. I want to see the parts. I hope you all are having like a really great day while you watch this video. And I do thank you in advance for taking the time out to catch me here on the YouTube app. <laughs> Just a little bit of hair filler fibers and I'm feeling confident. I could have moved the wig down just a little bit. Maybe my little, my long head is maybe a little bit much. You know, maybe I could have put some baby hairs, but I'm not really huge on baby hairs. Like I stated, this wig is long. It's probably about, I would say about 20, 24 inches. But you can do a lot of different styles with this. Now, 
Now, I don't like a lot of stuff in my face, so I would prefer to put it back. It gives me that sexy vibe. See how I put the shoulder, I, I put the shoulder out, you know, sleeve off the shoulder, trying to, you know, show a little shoulder with the hair to the side, you know, a little sexy vibe. But you can also, as I was stating, you can also hook it up and make it shorter. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to cut it because I, I, I think it will look really, really cute short. And that's the one good thing about synthetic wig. They're affordable. That's the one thing that's really good about synthetic wig. They're affordable. You can switch it up. You can cut it without feeling guilty. So I'm just going to put it to like a shoulder length style. I think when you cut this particular wig, it gives it a little bit fuller look. But you know, I like it shorter. Certain wigs look really good short. This is a little bit long still, not super duper long, but I think this style looks amazing in this unit. Very pretty. I think it gives it a more natural, realistic look when it's been cut. And it doesn't have to be even cut because remember, this is a synthetic wig and this is also wavy hair. So you don't have to worry about bluntness or the unevenness because it will kind of fall in place itself. And as for the straight ends, they will eventually get a little bit curled when you wear them. So, you know, you just got to hook it up, girl. Do what pleases you and do what's comfortable for you. Make sure you check the description box for the link down below for Sam's Beauty. You already know your girl has definitely enjoyed her time spending here with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay diva and devolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.